other than a partisan practice. Normally, all the witnesses would be interviewed. However, that's not happened. While the majority has reached out to several people, they did not notify me or my staff that they were doing this. And so uh, to argue that we would not participate but not tell us what they were up to is somewhat disingenuous. I was given some information by a woman who was very much afraid, who asked that it be held confidential. And I held it confidential until she decided that she would come forward. Mr. Chairman, would, would the ranking member um, answer a question, please? If I can. I, I have great respect for Senator Feinstein. We've worked together on many topics, and I believe what you just said. Can you tell us that your staff did not leak it? Oh, I don't believe my staff would leak it. I have not asked that question directly, but do you, I do, do you, not believe you know they that? would. I mean, how in the world could that get in the hands of the, of the press? The answer the is people? no. The staff have you, have you asked they did your, not. Have you asked your staff or other I staff members did. of the Judiciary Committee? They, 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 pardon me? Well, uh, yes. Jennifer well, reminds me I've asked her before about it, well, somebody, and that's true. Well, somebody leaked it if it wasn't you. Well, it was, uh, I'm telling you, it was not, I did not. I mean, I was asked to keep it confidential, and, and I'm criticized for that too. M Mr. Chairman, could I ask the chairman a question, which is, does the committee have a process if there is an allegation against any nominee? Oh to assess that allegation in a confidential forum rather than in the public, since Dr. Ford requested that it be kept confidential, is there a process for the committee yeah. for considering confidential yes, allegations? And, uh, and the answer is yes, and I sent Senator Tillis pointed out the document that I put out to show of all the things that we've done along the lines of your question. And Mr. Chairman, what would you have done if on July 30th, the ranking member had, had raised this allegation with you? As the chairman of this committee, how would you have You would have done that? like we have done with every uh, background, or let's say FBI report that comes from the White House with the nominee, and then uh, subsequent to that, because maybe the FBI got done with it three months ago, we go through the FBI or information comes to us, then we have our investigators in a bipartisan way, both Republicans and Democrats, uh, follow up on those, whatever those questions are or those problems that have to be worked out. So bipartisan investigators could have investigated this two months no. ago and it could have been heard in a confidential setting without Dr. And Ford's name or Judge Kavanaugh's name being dragged through the body. Is that correct? And except for one or two conversations that we had with the judge through our investigators, Democrats didn't participate except in those two, but in those two or one or two, they didn't ask any questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. No.